Oh, oh, God. He was panicking. Oh, my God. I've never oh, seen him panicking. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Hi, Aaron. Hi. Oh, look at you. You're Hi, wearing John. the swag. Oh, you. my God. I love you guys. Free stuff wow. I you are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. I'm so excited to be doing this. It's such an I honor. So fun. Mike, Mike, am I yelling? Sorry. Mike. Um, no, you Mike, sound great. Mike, Mike dropped all the fixings off. And so ah. we're go, oh, baby. you and and we made we made the fresh watermelon juice. Oh, okay. It's all about the fresh. It is the, the fresh, fresh ingredient. Have a shaker. I don't know if we need this. Yes, you yeah. will. You will for my cocktail, not yeah. for for Aaron's. I'm yeah. super, by the way, John had this the other night. Uh, this is a shameless plug, but um, had dos hombres, and so did I. Just on ice with lime, right? Yeah. Was, yes, we loved it. Oh, good. It is yep. really good that way. Mescal. Very smoky and nice. Yeah, it's very smoky and nice, but not, not overly smoky. <laughs> but overly nice. But a hint of smoke. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, that was awesome. Um, wow. wow. I, um, I was just <laughs> yeah, boom. Graham and the hashtag was better than crystal meth. Oh. oh. You know what? I think everything yeah. is probably better than crystal meth. And you know, you you don't have a hangover <laughs> after uh, dos hombres. Yeah, it's true. You just have a you know a couple couple neat cocktails. It's you're good. Beautiful. Why yeah. is um, so? It's good to see you both. Thanks for having us on your show. Yeah. Thank you. Um, it's your show, guys. And tell me, why doesn't it give you a hangover? It's because it doesn't have much sugar in it. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Completely pure. The only two ingredients in Dos Hombres made in an artisanal fashion is smoked <laughs> agave and water. Yeah. And Please. that's it. Can it's you really explain people watching what the difference is, you guys, between mezcal and tequila? Sure. So, so tequila is a mezcal, but mezcal is not a tequila. So basically any agave plant, and there's about 150 some odd varietals of agaves, any spirit made of agave is a mezcal. And a long time ago, there was a little area in Mexico that was making their mezcal only by the blue agave, which grows, it's the largest agave plant. It's massive. Huge. So they were able to yield a lot more mezcal than any other grower of any other uh, varietal. And they're able to harvest it at a, at a year. Right? Yeah, so well, it's pretty, really fast. Yeah, pretty fast. And, and it, it grows so fast and the turnover, it, it's like, it grows like a weed. Um, and, that's, and, and so the government came in and said, okay, listen, this is not fair to the other mescaleros who are making their mezcal out of different varieties of, of agave plants. And just like wine, it could be like ours is made from an espadin, an espadin plant. It takes six years to mature. But wow. you can make your mezcal as a blend, just a lot like wine. You can put in the different kinds of varietals. So, but the, the people in Mexico that were making their mezcal only from the blue agave uh, had to come to reason. And the reason was that they were be able to make their mezcal to continue making it, but they can only make it from the blue agave plant only. And they had to call it by a different name, not mezcal. So because the biggest city in this area was a city called Tequila, tequila yeah. they called it Tequila. And that's how Tequila was born. It is only made from the blue agave. Most Tequila is processed through steam and modern technology. Uh, some are. Some real, real nice uh, varieties of, of Tequilas are, you know, Reposado or Nejo and nicely aged and done the old fashioned way. But uh, most are more in modern technology and process quickly. All right, well now yeah. we know the whole Oops. Hey, by the way, Aaron, yeah. my husband, you guys are very fuzzy right now. I guess you have the wife. This, this from, no, from I haven't had song? anything to drink yet. Uh, but um, uh, John Molnar, my husband, Aaron, is such a Breaking Bad I'm a big fanatic. Fan. Oh, I, I love you. Uh, I don't. I'm just a fan of the show. It's a great show, and I'm happy to cook it up with you guys here right now and to learn a little something about recipes from the masters. Good. Uh, Walt. I love it. Okay, so I think uh, I'm going to go first. We're going to do two very different uh, types of uh, uh, cocktails. 
Uh, this one is, we can call anything. I'm going to call it the, the, uh, the watermelon mist. Ooh, it's nice. Kind of, it's watermelon like a, mist. a lingering summer drink. Okay. Very nice and sweet. So you want to take okay. a shaker and put some ice in it. Um, you also want to take fresh basil. Um, yep. About six or seven nice leaves. Take off the stems. Okay. Um, and you want to put that into a muddler, like like something like that. We need to tilt down, I think, there, pal. Don't we? Or, or go for it. Yeah. Okay. Get a bowl. Yeah. So that's that's good in there. And then. Have a muddler. How many? Like, Brian? Yeah. Yeah. About, yeah, like, about six or seven. Six or seven. Okay. Make sure the stems are off of there. Okay. Then take a, a fresh lime. Brian, do you know if you slap basil, it's more flavorful? You go yes. like this. Yeah. Well, this is how this is how I would uh, when when I put it in the drink, you'll see how I do it. But um, I guess I should slap it going in. I mean, you can, yeah. you want, yeah. This is how I do it. This is how I do it. I put it in a little thing like that and pop it. Yeah, there you go. Right, pop it like. Oh, you hear that? Wow, that's different. Anyway, okay, so it's in the muddler. Take a fresh lime, uh, okay. cut it in half. And usually about a, a lime holds about a, a roughly an ounce. Roughly of, an ounce. Yeah. This recipe calls for three quarters of an ounce of lime, but you can so change it depending on. On top of the basil gum? I yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Throw it on just, top of the basil. Put it on top of the basil. Squeeze it in there. Really good. Nice. Really get you... all that. And of course. <laughs> On top of the basil, yeah. A half of a lime or the whole thing? No, the whole lime. The whole, pretty much the whole lime. Whole lime. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, because, because if I were to That's put about a, a half yeah. of an ounce. This is, so maybe maybe squeeze about half of the other. Yeah. Because you don't want it to be too, too limey. Too, too limey. limey. It's a, you know, you okay. don't want it to be too citrusy. That's good. Okay, so you put that in there. Then, then get a muddler and, and break it up. Break it up nice and good. And there you even go. there, really muddle it up there. Hi, nice, Katie. Doing? Good job. Katie's Good job. Doing it. I cannot believe Katie Couric is wearing a Dos Ombres t-shirt right now. Don't you think? And Otherwise, we have to keep bending down. I think our uh, my cameraman is is well. Not if it's if it was sideways and turned off the comments, we could have been, there been perfect. Now just up a little bit, right? Right, no, no, no. right there. That's good. Right there. Okay. Is that good? That's good. Sure? Okay. So you muddle that up. Right? Okay, muddled. Okay, go muddle. Then take about uh, three ounces of fresh watermelon juice. I put, and all you have to do, it's, it's not oh, fancy, uh, about three ounces, uh, and throw it in a blender, and, yep. and then put that inside. I pre-measured that at three ounces. Nice, yeah, that's, that's right. perfect. That's good. Yeah. Uh, then sure. make sure that all the water. Uh, the lime and the basil? The, yes, in, in the basil. All right. Then, okay. then you pour it. Then pour the whole thing into the shaker. Okay. Last is you put, you put the dos hombres in. How much this is, dos hombres? This is a, a one and a half. One and a half. Yeah, so it's so one of those and then about. Okay. Yeah, about that. So oh, then, this... yeah, I, I don't know how much that measures. So, so, so do two it, ounces. About two ounces of, of says, dos hombres. It says just a thimble full. A what? what? No, no, not a thimble full. Dos hombres. Oh, that's a big thimble, though. Yeah, yeah that's a nice size thimble. OK. <laughs> it is. All right, then put the top on, right? Top on, and then shake it like crazy. Nice. Nice. And you shake for about 10 minutes. <laughs> Now, I, I like to shake it probably more than others. I don't know. I get it really, really ice cold. Really ice cold. You get it popping oh. in there. You want okay. to put some, uh, some so, ice. So then, now before I do that. All right. Um, take your glass that you're going to pour it in. 
and yep. some of the lime that you used. Yep. All right. I like to use the fresh lime and rim your glass with the lime. Yeah. Okay. You see that? Yep. Nice. Got it. Lime. And then if you dip it into a little dip it into a little salt sugar mix. It's a little sweet and sour. How are we doing? You went out to get the salt. Oh, you know, oh, sorry. And you, you can do it with the rim or not the rim, but uh, that's just one part salt, one part sugar. Um, and then if you want to add a little spice to it, you could even put some uh, chili powder in there as well. You can do a slice of jalapeno or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, how are we doing? Should we start? Yeah. All right, I'm going to put a couple more cubes in here. What do you call this? Watermelon mist. Watermelon. Nice. And it's just, it's end of summer cocktail, nice and light, nothing beautiful. too heavy. If okay. you want, you can also. It has a beautiful kitchen. You have to put the. Oh, so just put Hold the... on. There you go. Yeah, you don't put the ice in too soon. That's a rookie mistake right there. There you go. Look at yeah, she, she knows how to. <laughs> there you go. That's perfect. Okay. Okay. Really drink it up. Take All that right, top we're... off. And then put yeah. some ice in the in the glass. Put some ice in the glass now after you've rimmed it. You put oh, it you in the glass. Yeah, rim it with the uh, lime. Rim I already did. did. Okay, now put the salt on, yeah. ice in there, and then yeah. just pour it in as long as it has a strainer. Look how pretty that is. There we go. Now, then take another little uh, leaf of basil. Put that in that in the pocket there. Nice little pop. It explodes, and in it goes. What is the honors? I mean, no, you made it. You oh, I know, maybe. Yeah. I'll Thanks, wait guys. Yeah. Two, two years. Yeah. I mean, smell that. It's, it really does smell. Fantastic. Great job. Yep. Hold on. There you go. John and Kate. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that pretty? That is pretty. Very that's nice. delicious. The nice. It's tasting. Now you may, it's if you ch so choose, you want to add a little simple syrup or something if you want to just give it a little more sweetener. But that's a up little, to... Brian? What's that? Could you add a little agave? Yeah, uh, agave syrup is a great additive, especially when you're using those ombres because it comes from the same plant. Um, mm. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, and, and to taste, it's, you know, my wife would want it a little sweeter than this. Mm -hmm. So you can just make this and then add a little sweetener as you go with agave syrup or, or a simple syrup. And yeah. there you go. Here, cheers Yummy. to the final days of summer. Yeah. Cheers, you guys. And cheers, um, cheers to you. Before we go, oh, are we doing, are we doing, are we doing another drink? Or I mean, I, I have a pretty simple cocktail I can show you really, really quickly if you'd like. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, it's very, very simple. Uh, so this is a my take on uh, an old fashioned. So okay. Very easy. Put some ice in a glass. Uh, you do. You take some orange bitters. Okay, hold on. What are you hitting? I'm hitting the cherries. Oh, oh there you go. Nice. Um, and so. If you're using uh, if you're using like a sugar cube instead of um, instead of simple syrup, I would put the sugar cube in first. Put four dashes of orange bitters uh, onto the onto the sugar cube. Match it up, but I'm using simple syrup, which is easy to make. It's one part water, one part sugar. You can heat it Hold up on. on the stove and have it dissolve. Um, Hold on. Okay, stop. I've got my glass. I've got my ice. Yeah. Should I put in? Not yet. No, yeah, you can put your ice in now. Okay. Okay. And then you can do four dashes of orange bitters uh, in each uh, in each cocktail. I'm, okay. One, oh, three, oh, just drop, just drops. 
Well, dashes are fine. Yeah, da yeah, dashes are drops. I mean, what's I like I like that you have a little dropper though. Oh, okay. Like that? Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. That's how I used to feed Aaron when we first started <laughs> on Breaking Bad. It's, it's you were like a baby bird. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was. Um, it's just chewing. Yeah. In his mouth. Um, <laughs> And then, I did the uh, and then you're gonna want to do two ounces of uh, of dos hombres. Two ounces of dos hombres. Got it. Okay. Yeah. I'm on it. We're just in the glass directly. Yeah. And then you're gonna want to do just uh, if you have a little simple syrup, just just a little, just a little bit. How do you like a I, I would say a, a quarter of an ounce. Is it that? that. A drop, a dash, a quarter, drop, a quarter, skosh. Quarter, quarter of an ounce. Quarter of an ounce. Okay. Yeah, I, I got, that could be multiple dashes, I guess. Yeah. Um, this is like Morse code. Oh. Dash, dash, drop, drop. <laughs> Are you with us? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Should just grab it on. Grab it on something. And then, uh, so two ounces of mezcal. Um, I'm using Luxardo cherries, which is like a really nice cocktail cherry. Um, and what I do is I do a little, I guess you do it like a little teaspoon of uh, the cherry juice. Oh, jeez. Or juice. There she goes. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 Katie. Katie. The uh, woman's. There you okay. go. How much, uh, Aaron, goes in there? Uh, I would use like a little, tea, like a teaspoon. Of just and then the juice. Put the, put the cherry. Oh, you know what, the cherry, yeah, put the cherry in. Um, one in. Whoa. And then mix it around. That's sort of a sad looking one. Do one going. with the stem, yeah. Yep. Okay, mix okay. it around. Yeah, just really get it as cold as possible. And then, yeah, it's great. And then you take, a, take an orange and a little orange peel. Okay, we got it. We have a lemon. That's fine. But I'll it there. We don't have an orange. Sure. Put a little peel in it. Okay. Yeah, sure. yeah. And then Okay, so yours will be a little tart. Yeah, a little little a little more tart. And then you're gonna wanna squeeze this uh, this orange peel just right right in in there on the top. Give it a little twist. Some little bartenders twist. will take a, a and match. Right, right. Yeah. Some bartenders will take a match to the the peel of the orange and it and heat it a little bit and that brings out the oils of the orange and then they rim the thing it's really great yeah that's it that's it and then that's it and then you uh it, so you cheers. said it's a play on a manhattan yeah it's a little plan uh, old-fashioned so this is called uh a oaxacan uh oaxacan old-fashioned now would you Drink. i like that for, uh, <laughs> strong too strong now a little. See, I like I I I I love me um. Give it a little bit. Some stiff drinks. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Are you having fun? What are you all doing? Are we allowed to say where you are? Yeah, yeah. I've been uh, I've been. We're in um, a bunker. <laughs> we're in a but we've been quarantining together for the past six months. It's been nice. Uh, no, uh, I've been out here in Idaho for the past past four months. Um, Here, at, here's the address. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you should come over. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've just been kind of hanging out in the mountains, the trees. It's a beautiful, beautiful place that he designed here uh, in Idaho. And he invited us up, my wife and I, Robin, you know Robin. And uh, we wanted it played safe, be safe. So we took an, another COVID test mm -hmm. before we left, got the results, left the next morning. Took 13 hours straight. We just stopped potty breaks and gas breaks and just motored up. Did you have a lot of potty breaks? A lot. I, I had more gas breaks. Uh, when, 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 hey, Brian, you know, they have those adult diapers and they uh, don't have to all. We uh, actually were just talking about adult diapers today. Yeah, we were. Today. <laughs> we were it's, uh, randomly. I, um, I'm wearing them now, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tidy whiteys now. Can we see? Can you show the us the tidy, the tidy whitey uh, di diaper, adult diaper? Yeah, that would be. I give the public not, what they want. You would have thought I, that the Walter White depends. No, no, just tidy whiteys. I mean, that would we we're in. If you want investors for that, we are partners. I want some. Yeah, I want some coin. I want some big. I want some taste. 
<laughs> Where's the cabbage on that baby? Um, the cabbage. The cabbage. I have Aaron, I kind of like the watermelon one better just because it's a little sweet. Hey, I'm not offended. I made up the watermelon drink. I'm not offended. I'm not offended. Uh, I'm Katie, Katie, Katie take, take a little splash. Oh, you did. I was just going to say, take a little splash of simple syrup in there in the watermelon. And sometimes, Brian and Aaron, I like to top my drink off with just a little teeny bit of seltzer to give it oh, a little. Oh, there you go. A little, get, give it a, a, a little kick, a little fun. Oh, I love you so I, much. I was hoping that was really oh, hyper man. You know what? Uh, I'm, you know, this is, it, it, what's interesting is that. Uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm so, I, I'm so honored to be just, you know, sitting down and having a conversation with the two of you, with this man. I uh, really feel very blessed. So thank you very much. I, uh, your family and, and everyone's well, I hope? Yeah, everybody's good. My daughter is here from LA. John's daughter is here. And my other daughter who lives in New York, we've got a full house. And I'm, I'm inviting 11 ladies over for dinner, five of Ellie's high school friends and their moms. In the backyard, distant. Social oh, nice. distancing. Nice. Huh? Socially distant. Socially yeah, distant. yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We late. We put out tables, and everybody's going to be far apart. Oh, uh, that's very sweet. Well, uh, just to make sure everybody understands, is that Aaron? Uh, we have uh, some guests here, other guests here as well, and everybody took a COVID test the day before. Yeah, they a couple days come before, up. and then they all drove. Ended up driving out. Drive straight through. So we're um, we're we're being responsible as well. We're, we're, you know. This is a lot of fun making these cocktails. We hope that that um, people watching this can make the cocktail and enjoy it. But we hope, more importantly, that that you're all well and safe. We're gonna and, throw uh, and that we'll yeah. get through this soon. The good yeah. news. Is, oh, I'm gonna put the recipe in my newsletter, you What's guys. Oh, Wake I up. love you. So everyone, sign up for Wake Up Call. Go to katiecurric.com. We're publishing starting next week. We're doing the best of this week. And, uh, you know, the good news, you guys, is liquor sales are way up during the pandemic. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're going to drink, it's, it's, it's now. It's a good time to drink. It, yeah, it is a good time to drink. Uh, and all of our followers, um, Wake Up Call, I get it every morning. And it gives me a thumbnail sketch of everything that I need to know. It, it's Love really it. great, Katie. It's a great service. And, uh, and it's a lot of fun. Thank you for doing that. Right, it didn't work. But this has some luck. Oh, you mean that other, that, other thing, that other tequila yeah. company? <laughs> that other one? <laughs> that other tequila company. John said this is going to bury them. That is that. Yeah. Anyway, well, have a great time, you guys. Give my love to everybody there and, and cheers. And thank you for everybody who joined us and watched. And These if are you delicious. make the cocktail, DM me. Send me a picture so I can post it. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, same. Right back at us. Um, yeah, I really appreciate you too. Thanks. Stay safe, stay sane, lots of love. Thanks yeah. everyone for watching. Be well. Cheers, Cheers everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye. That is really good. That is good. There you go. She's so sweet. Look how sweet she is. I know. Oh, she's trying to turn. Yeah. Oh, okay. How do I turn this off now? Um, okay. How do we do this? Okay. I figured it out. Okay. Bye, <laughs> Bye guys and gals. See ya.